So far in 2024, every 5 minutes and 37 seconds, a person is shot in Chicago, and every 27 minutes and 16 seconds, a person is murdered. And so far this year, 22 people have been murdered, which is half of what it usually is. And in the month of December through January, only about 12 gang members died, which has been about 18 males that have died and 3 females that have died. This first guy was from the 757 set, which is a set of gangster disciples and black disciples, which they are located in the Douglas Park neighborhood. And I have a whole hit list on my page about 757, so make sure you go check that out. But on December 9th, 2023, Corey Avi, aka Psycho Savage slash Lil Corey, was found in the driver's seat of a parked vehicle in the first block of West Cermak Road around 9.15 p.m. He was 32 years of age and suffered from gunshot wounds to the chest and was taken to Northwestern Memorial Hospital where he died from his injuries. And when he was killed, he was in State Boys 021's hood. This next guy was from the Black Gate set. And these guys are mostly black disciples located around the area of 54th in Indiana. And recently, Black Gay has formed an alliance with DOD called Checkout Gang. Both of these gangs claim this and are closely connected. But on December 10th, 2023, Keelan Woods, aka Benji Chasen slash BK, was at the Red Roof Inn that Saturday afternoon at 3017 West Coliseum Boulevard around 3 p.m. when he was found suffering from gunshot wounds. 26-year-old Keelan Woods was taken to the hospital where he later died from his injuries. Six. Around 2.50 this afternoon, the Fort Wayne police were called to the Red Roof Inn on West Coliseum on a report of shots fired. When police arrived, they found a person with gunshot wounds. They were taken to an area hospital in critical condition. Our reporter on scene witnessed two men being placed in the handcuffs and put into the back of police cars. The U.S. Marshals then arrested Tommy Lehman Gray, 21 years of age. He was arrested just a few days after this. This next situation was a crazy situation, and it happened on December 15th, 2023. Police and firefighters will respond to a car on fire in an alley in the 3700 block of South Parnell Avenue. Just shortly after 2 a.m., Kidney Smith, aka Baby Do It from the Nitty Block Slash Muff Mob set, was found in the trunk of the car, dead. He also had gunshot wounds to the neck and chest and was pronounced dead on the scene. Then on December 17th, 2023, at about 10.45 a.m., officers responded to a shot spot alert right in the 3800 block of West Glades Avenue. When they arrived, they found 28-year-old LaShawn Johnson, a.k.a. Sean from the Lavender Mob set. He was taken to Mount Sinai Hospital, initially in critical condition, but due to his injuries, he died. This next guy that lost his life was from the B Gang slash Harlem Boys set, which is a set of mainly conservative vice lords and four corner hustlers. And they are located in the West Garfield Park neighborhood, mainly on the blocks of Lake and Hamlin. But on December 18th, 2023, Lamont Williams, aka Lil Sean slash S4, was in the 1200 block of South Ashland Avenue, right inside of a parking lot, when the 17 year old was shot multiple times in the body. And he was shot in Teddy Mob's hood. He actually took himself to Stroger's hospital but later was pronounced dead from his injuries. This next alleged gang member was charged with a shooting that injured a bystander just a year before he died. It was only a day later on December 19th, 2023. Mickey L. Payton, aka Block Y slash 4Baby from the Harvey World set was shot multiple times in a North Minneapolis residence in a block of 915 North Newton Avenue just around 6.35 p.m. First responders attempted to save his life but he died from his injuries. Then on December 27th, 2023, would be a Geno gang member that would be taken out. This Geno gang is mostly filled with gangster disciples and conservative vice lords located on 73rd and Ada. But on December 27th, 2023, Tracy Cooper, aka Roscoe from Geno Gang, was in the 1300 block of West 73rd Street at about 1.30 a.m. when someone walked up on him and shot him in the chest. He was taken to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead from his injuries. Then January 12, 2024, a THF 4-6 member would die. THF stands for Trigger Happy Family, and they located in the North Kenwood neighborhood 
on the south side of Chicago, which has both BDs and GDs in it. But on January 12, 2024, police responded to a person shot in the 8400 block of South Vincent's Avenue. And when they arrived, they found Shannon Sargo, aka SK from the THF 46 set. He was taken to Christ Hospital where he was pronounced dead. And he was in STB's hood arguing with someone when he was shot. This next alleged gang member would die in an unusual way. It was January 14, 2024. Jordan Fox, aka Big Top from the Beam Team, allegedly committed self-harm to herself. He was an up-and-coming rapper and was the first loss for Beam Team in 2024. Only four days later, another Beam Team member would die. Orlando Lofton, aka King Foe, was shot at about 3.30 a.m. while riding in a westbound car near Polani Street. Lofton was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead at 4.36 a.m. Then on January 26, 2024, two Nitty Block members will lose their life. The scene with more of that exclusive video. Suzanne. Joe, Erica, police say that these teens just 16 and 17 years old. So I'm going to show you right now where this all happened. Now, they were shot just on the other side of this elevator structure that you see behind me, close to the street. You see both victims here on the left side of your screen. Here on the right, a dark colored SUV pulls up underneath the train tracks. At least one person can be seen running from the vehicle, ambushing the victims. The shooter then runs back into the SUV. The driver takes off on Wabash South. Through my arm, but just like passing by. And um, yeah, here. So the bullet did that? Yes. It was around 12.25 p.m. 16-year-old Robert Boston and 17-year-old Monterio Williams was near Washington Street and Wabash Avenue when a dark color sedan and an SUV pulled up to a crowd. Then masked gunmen got out and opened fire. Four of the attackers fled in a vehicle and two other people took off on foot. There were 2,880 people shot in total across the city last year which is a 17% decrease from 2022. And that figure is also down 34% over 2021's total, when 4,384 people were shot. And in December of 2023 alone, there were 37 homicides and 154 shootings. This is mainly because of the police presence in Chicago and how fast they respond to 911 calls with the average in Chicago being three minutes and 46 seconds. Despite the drop in shootings and homicides, the number of robberies and motor vehicle thefts reported in 2023 both jumped significantly, with there being 11,051 robberies and 29,287 reported motor vehicle thefts. The police department said it recovered 12,400 illegal firearms during 2023, which that's on average about 34 guns recovered each day. But that'll be about it for this video. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed and stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.